He said, Georgians deserve 100%, and it's time for me to, to, to leave it with you. So I certainly appreciate really him putting his state and his country ahead of himself and his health, and uh, we certainly wish him the best. He's been a great public servant for our state. Hey, Governor Brian Kemp talking about this man, Senator Johnny Isaacson, whose term will come to an end in December. In a statement today, the senator said after much prayer and consideration with his family and doctors, he will step down, saying he won't be able to do the job in the long term in the manner Georgians deserve. Johnny Isaacson is 74, was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease in 2013. He's in his third term as a Republican U.S. Senator, has been in elected office for over 40 years. Senator has run on the state and federal level. Randall Savage is joining us now. Surprised by the announcement today, Randall? Uh, somewhat. I thought he would probably stick it out. Uh, he tried to stick it out to his uh, to the end of the term, but that's two and a half years away. All right. Now you're very familiar with Johnny Isaacson. You were on the campaign trail with him back in the 1990s. Yes, he was running for governor, uh, and he was the Republican nominee. Zell Miller was a Democratic mm -hmm. nominee. And I traveled the state with him one day. We drove to some places and flew to others. And everywhere he went, he was well received. And he was always very friendly with the people he talked with. He was known as being able to get along with both Democrats and Republicans, which is somewhat rare these days. Well, he could. He, uh, in fact, Zell Miller, after he was elected governor, appointed him to a position in the office there. But yeah, he got along well with them. If, uh, if he was a Democrat, he didn't necessarily agree with them. He would talk to them, say, I appreciate your candor, shake their hands, and see if they couldn't work something out. You expect a lot of candidates to run for his seat in 2020? Uh, in 2020, I would think so. Uh, there will be a pseudo incumbent there because uh, Governor Kemp will be able to appoint someone to, from uh, January until the general election in November. All right, we'll see what happens. Randall Savage, thanks very much. As Randall said, Governor Kemp will appoint someone to fill Senator Isaacson's slot until the election, which will take place in November of 2020.